Hello, Birmingham. It is no secret that gun violence has impacted too many lives in this great city. The Birmingham Police Department's motto is to protect, serve, and respect, but we need your help too. Today, you will hear firsthand accounts from behind the crime scene tape of the terrible results of gun violence. You will hear from a seasoned BPD homicide detective and from a firefighter and paramedic with the Birmingham Fire and Rescue Service about the emotional toll this takes on first responders and victims' families and how you can help. I've had um, two individuals fighting over a cigarette. One killed another one over a simple cigarette. Words, mere words. It goes from any, anything from you looked at me the wrong way to you disrespected me. It's just unimaginable. The very first homicide scene uh, I went to as a homicide detective was literally a block behind my home I grew up in. Uh, my mom actually still lives there. Um, and it was a guy that, um, that, that I knew pretty much as an uncle. It was pretty overwhelming to be honest with you, uh, simply because of the closeness of the case and just the, the scene itself. Most difficult part about my job is um, simply knowing who committed the crime and not being able to uh, bring that person up on charges, uh, simply because uh, we don't have the witnesses uh, to come forward or the community's backing. Most of the homicides that are unsolved, we know who committed the crime. It's just the lack of evidence. Not the lack of physical evidence, but the lack of evidence meaning eyewitness statements, um, people stepping up to the plate saying, this is what happened. Every single gunshot that I've responded to uh, impacts or affects me differently. And in part, that's because of the dialogue that is had in the back of the rescue unit. Um, almost 10 times out of 10, um, patients that are uh, close to the end, uh, they will always articulate, uh, you know, tell my mother I love her, uh, tell my kids I love them. And there is uh, occasions where um, our brothers and sisters commit suicide when the, the, the toll becomes too much and uh, there's marital problems, high divorce rate, and stress that comes with that. You never can be prepared, especially when you see such uh, young loss of life taken away, having to go through multiple bloody gloves, and you see things that are meant to be internal in patients. Now it's external from the violence of wounds and those type of things. It's just something you can't get over. This is just as much my community as it is yours. And no citizen should be able to, should have to um, hear gunfire every night, should have to worry about are their children coming home. In order to keep us away from uh, having to deal with the toes of this trauma, I wish that we can do better by one another and just um, uh, learn to resolve our conflict in, uh, in better ways. We need your help. Um, we need you are our eyes, you are our ears. We can't solve homicides without your help. 